I have a really messed up, like, worldview. It's, like, I don't know, it, it, I guess I just, like, uh, ignore kind of, like, part of what it means to be human. Like, my problem is, uh, I just don't value aesthetics very much at all, unless it's, like, a natural kind of beauty in things. I don't find, I don't really care for man-made beauty that much. I respect everyone, okay? Just to get that out of the way, I, I hold di all different types of people in the highest regard. So, like, what makes me respect a person is, uh, well, it's how much good they do, you know, but it's also just how much people do in general. Like, I respect somebody for what they're capable of, not necessarily, like, their worldview because I understand like not everybody has like the same education and stuff not everybody un understands things the same things the same so I respect people just for being like good at whatever it is they do no matter what it is you know uh, but with that being said I just think like there's so many things that the human uh, different types of people do that is just like such a huge waste of time and energy and resources, you know? And, and, and like, you know, the whole thing like with, if you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem kind of thing. You know, and it's it don't just like rationalize that you're part of the solution if really you could be doing, if you really could be changing your path, changing your trajectory, and doing something more worthwhile, you know? So never just like water down your uh, self-confidence. Uh, well, you know, don't don't uh, feel unconfident just in what you're doing if uh, you need to make changes, you know? Like I know I need to make a lot of changes to get where I wanna be in life. And it's like a constant journey. So like life's always changing. You're never safe, man. You're never safe. Like. Whenever you feel, whenever you get comfortable doing what you're doing, you're, you're gonna get fucked, you're gonna get wiped out. If you're not improving, you're getting worse, you're getting older. So if you're not constantly in, innovating, you know, and just making making changes, making improvements in your life, all you're doing is decaying, you know, you're just getting old. So, uh, yeah, like, a lot of, a lot of people are like really fucking awesome people and do like really cool shit and they're really admirable of people so I don't want I don't want people to think that I'm like that I like hate these people or that I disrespect them in any way at all that license plate said be grateful that's nice uh, good good lesson and I got a cut on my lip too right inside of my lip I like bit it out <laughs> I don't want, um, yeah, with all that said, there's a lot of people that do, we just do so much unnecessary stuff, all of us, like me, myself included, to totally, like, today I was sanding, uh, I, well, I, you know, I've just been doing, I do stuff every single day that I'm just like, what is the point of this? Like, people spend so much money, so much time on stuff that they don't need. If, if it's unnecessary, if you're doing, if you're putting your time, energy, money, any kind of resource into something that's unnecessary, it's a waste. It's a complete waste. Like, we, there are necessities that are, there are needs that people have that our brothers and sisters have that are unfulfilled right now. And that's what needs to be satisfied first, you know, and people, it, it's, it's not about being selfless. It's about taking care of your needs and acknowledging what those needs are. Like, I can't tell you how many fucking rich people don't take care of their own needs. They got so much money, and yet they don't take care of themselves. And that's a problem in and of itself. And those people need, those people need to be called out. You know, don't just leave people, if you're not treating your body well, fuck you, man. You're, you're a burden, on, you're gone. If you're not a burden on society already, you will be. You gotta start fucking taking your control of your health, or I have every right to be pissed off at you. If you're gonna be, ramping up all these healthcare costs, you know, healthcare should be free for everybody, but it, it's not because it can't be, because everybody treats their bodies like shit, you know, and so, yeah, 
like maybe even more than destroying the environment, and maybe even more than killing all these animals, I have a problem with people not being vegan because they're destroying their bodies and that is not okay. That is not okay at all. So, you know, people have all this money and all these resources and it goes to building fancy houses, you know, that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. How come if we go towards the equator where people are poor, they can build their house for like a hundred bucks, man. I, seriously, they can build like a, a house that will keep them dry uh, like all through the rainy season for in like, they can do it in a week with four guys and it's a house, it's a functioning house, you know, and they, they do their cooking, blah, blah, blah. They might not have like electricity, so, you know, the communication, like internet communication, I, I consider that a human need, you know. Um, do we need to drive cars? Well, kind of. <laughs> kind of, like, to keep society functioning. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can figure out a way to make that sustainable or just change it. I, and I think we can certainly do that. But, I'm, you know, technology is a good thing. Anyway, um, you know, that's, uh, that's just obvious. If you don't agree with me, you're, you don't have to, but you're still fucking wrong. Um, so, yeah, but just people want, they want to live a good life. They want to be happy. They want to feel good. They, they want their place to be beautiful. And that's all great and stuff. But just right now in the world, like, I don't, it's, I don't know. I have, like, this mental disease. And it's, like, it's coming back now. Like, I was kind of relaxed when I first went vegan. Like, when I, before I was vegan, I had this, like, in my mind, just, I was, like, constantly freaking out. Like, why are we wasting time? That every second that we are not doing something to to you know to fix our food system, man. Period. Like if we're not if we're wasting, and every second we waste is like it's another person dead. It's another several hundred people dead. You know, and at every single day, thirty thousand kids under the age of five are gonna die of starvation every single day. You know, and it's just like, that's who I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about the, the fishless oceans. I'm not thinking about the poisoned earth and all the toxic garbage I see laying out all around the, the whole fucking town. Like, I live in, like, a well-off place that used to be clean. Now it's a dirty trash dump. And this is, like, one of the finest places to live on planet Earth. Um, I'm not thinking about that stuff as much as I'm thinking about the fucking kids that are dying, man. So, like, it just... You don't have the right, as a human being, in my opinion, you don't have the right to to uh, to be spending all this time. If you have the ability to be helping people, you need to be like out there, like helping those that need or don't have their needs satisfied. So yeah, I'm thinking about. I watched this talk from about this guy and. Uh, like a, a Thai guy, a guy from Thailand, who's a rice farmer. He was born like an agrarian society, you know, very little money, but he said he had all this extra time. That's different, you know. That guy like didn't. He was he was born in such a poor culture that he, he provided everything for himself, and um, like he only he he didn't really have much of an ability to like. Go, now he is. Now now he goes out and he helps people. So actually, I'm, I'm kind of contradicting myself. But this guy said, uh, you know, he didn't really have the resources when he was growing up to, like, go out and, like, fucking be, like, charitable, giving person, all, all that jazz. Uh, so, but uh, his, his old message was, like, life should be simple. All uh, You know, life should be easy. It should be easy to satisfy your needs, which is so true, but... But when people's needs are unsatisfied, that just, uh, life is not easy anymore because we're all connected. We're all one, man. We're all part of this greater organism that is called Earth. So we need to be satisfying the needs of the whole planet and the whole human race. And so it's not easy anymore. I don't know if I really agree with the guy, honestly, because I, I, I'm a theist and I, I believe like we're all like one greater thing like we're all just parts of a greater whole you know so like 
for me, for if one of my people over across the ocean doesn't have his needs satisfied, then to me, my needs are not satisfied. You know, my, my needs is like having the whole human race be happy and uh, healthy at least, you know? Um, so yeah, like what's my idea of the good life? It, my idea of the good life is, well, it, it's going to change, you know, it's going to change as generations go on and the, we have to be open to change, but my idea of the good life does not, you know, obviously it doesn't consist of having like a nice looking place. Like if I've got a table, I'm happy, you know, it, it, like I'll get a tree stump, you know, if I have like a soft or a somewhat soft surface to lay on and a blanket to keep me warm, I'm happy. I don't need like pictures hanging on my walls. I don't need to paint stuff. I don't need my place to look aesthetically pleasing. I just, nature itself is beautiful enough, man. Like what we need for beauty, to create beauty in our lives. We don't need to do all this toxic like construction work and you know like talk, uh, just toxic shit, man. Like, that's not beautiful to me at all anyway, you know, but yeah, uh, I guess that's really my point. Like, if you want beauty in your life, look around you and, and start gardening. Like, plant flowers, plant fruit trees and stuff, and then the, your environment will become more beautiful. Your living space should be beautiful. Your living space should be filled with plants that satisfy your needs for oxygen, plants that satisfy your food needs. Uh, so that's my idea of the good life. My idea of the good life, you know, in this day and age is I want to go around the world and help people. I, I want to go give my time and I want I, I want, I want money coming in so I can take that money from unconscious people. I can educate those unconscious people to make better choices and I can take their money and di divert it to people that are in need, you know, that's really my dream, like, I just want to be around the world, <laughs> like, I just, I, I want to be a force for good, and, you know, people are just like, fuck you, man, like, you're wrong, or just, that's stupid, that's a bad, like, motivation, you're just a narcissist and stuff like that, and it, yeah, or they'll just make, like, silly little judgments that don't even fucking matter, and it's, it, you know, like, the way I talk, stuff like that. Just people make like the silliest little things and it's like, yeah, you know, like fine. I'm glad that you have criticism for me and I'm open to them. But look in the mirror, you know, like think, look at who you're criticizing before you, you go and, and, and criticize them and stuff. And uh, yeah, just like whatever it is, don't hate what I'm doing. That's the biggest thing. Uh, don't, don't be a hater, man. Appreciate what I'm doing. I appreciate what all these fucks are doing, like fucking up the planet. I appreciate them. That, you know what I was saying like earlier in the video? I, pre I appreciate people that you would not think I appreciate, you know? Even if those people do like more harm than good. If somebody has something to respect and love, like I acknowledge that and you should too. So if you watch this whole video through, I'm, I already, I'm sure you already do respect me for what I do, for what I'm aspiring for. And I hope, you know, if, if you have the ability, you do the same. I think this path is pretty clear cut and shit. Like, everybody's different and all, but there's really, there's like a right way to live and there's a wrong way to live. And I, I, that's for another video, but yeah, um, I'm almost home. That was my little quick commute. Man, I made it home fast. Really should have rode my bike today. It's beautiful. But just got a little caught up in some stuff this morning uploading yesterday's video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But hey, no excuses. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel yourself, man, uh, it's doable. It's doable. I work 40 hours a week. I commute like at least an hour, uh, an hour and a half total of my day and then the other eight and I sleep 10 hours a night, hopefully, or at least nine, oh, you know, sometimes eight, sometimes seven. God forbid I get six uh, or less. Um, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Um, if, if you got the passion, like, you will find a way to, make, well, way to make it happen. And you don't need that much time to do stuff like this. I'm not going to edit this video at all. I'm just going to upload it as is. And it literally took me... It, it, It'll be a devotion of about 
30 seconds of my day that I've given up in order to uh, create this video. And, and I'm trying to do it as often as possible. You know, because the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the more, the more uh, you refine your message and you refine your thoughts and stuff. So YouTube's a really great thing. Highly recommend it for anybody. I remember, like, it was funny. When I started the vegan lifestyle, I'm probably gonna say this in a couple more videos because I, I, it's a really interesting thing, but uh, when I first started, I, uh, or I, before I started, I was researching it for about a year at least, and um, I just remember when I first found the fruitarian thing, I was such a narcissist and I was so selfish and just so self-centered. Like, I mean, I, I cared about the planet. I, I did. Like, I was still in that freak out mode. Um, which, by the way, I'm back in that freak out, freak out mode now. Like, after a couple years relax as a vegan now, I'm, I'm starting to get like, Ugh! like, I just need to, oh, I need to be doing something, you know? Can't, just everything is such a waste of time if it's not, like, for the greater good. It's a horrible, you know, it's a horrible thing. Time is a horrible thing to waste. Um... But anyway, yeah, when I first was researching and stuff, I remember I kept it a secret because I cared about what people thought about me. And, um, like, I, I, when I found out you could eat, like, you could just eat fruit and, like, green vegetables and you could be healthy and that was, like, actually a very healthy way to eat. I, I didn't share with anybody because I didn't want people to find out. The, that it's because I wanted to be the first one to do it, you know, and I, that's all I cared about was like myself and like being better than everybody else. It's crazy, man. So now, like, I just I, when I share this with somebody who's smart, they're like, I've seen people like I tell them and they're like, hey, I'm gonna do it, and they do it, and like, oh, they just jump right past me, like they're way better people than me immediately. Um, so it's funny, you know, like I didn't I didn't want to share it at first with people, and you know, I got over that pretty quick. I was like. Uh, you know, it's weird. People are watching me. I, I got over that pretty quick, and I, I eventually started sharing it. And I, I was like sharing, just you know, just typing stuff on Facebook, and that was like my activism, which is totally lame. Like people just hate you when you when you're like a little keyboard warrior, and nobody, no, like it's just short, printed like thoughts are a really good way for people to misinterpret what you're trying to say. If you're writing a whole book, different story, but uh, YouTube is much better for like a little five minute, you know, rant or a little, you know, one minute rant. But this is a long video, yeah. It's pretty, pretty funny how I just, all I cared about was, uh, you get the point. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll, I'll try to keep the video shorter in the future. Peace.